One of the last festivals this season is coming to an end at St. Joseph's Church. Star Bodhi tells us Oktoberfest brought the community together as the pandemic continues. The 14th annual Oktoberfest is one of the last festivals adapting to COVID-19 changes. It's been different. Um, I don't want to do this ever again like this. We, we like to have the, you know, all the people here having a fine time, dancing, singing, all the vendors. It's the best way to go because it really brings people together. This festival took months to plan as the Commonwealth continues to adjust to precautions. Usually you can smell the sauerkraut balls cooking outside and German music playing, but that isn't stopping parishioners. The festival is giving the community options to stop by or pick up their food through a drive through One parishioner says a little support goes a long way. Well, to do something for fundraising, um, in addition, just to get out of the house to do something, uh, I think is important to help to help out and for your mind, your body, your soul, so to speak. Oktoberfest cheers say while this is the last ethnic festival of the year, they say it's humbling seeing that the community continues to show their support during these tough times. That's after seeing how nearby parishes modified their fundraising events. It was been a community effort to try to help all of the area festivals to come up with how do we make these happen. Star Bodhi, Jet 24 Action News. All money raised and donations from this festival will go to the parish. Father Larry Richards tells us this year's donations are expected to help with maintenance of the church. Businesses across the county are doing what they can to continue supporting Johnny Heibel. On Monday, October 12th, Buffalo Wild Wings off of Interchange Road will donate 23% of all proceeds from dine-in or takeout orders. This money will go towards his recovery costs. The McDowell senior football player is suffering from a brain injury from a football game against Cathedral Prep. Coming up after the break, the Brig Niagara will set sail in 2021. We'll tell you about the fundraiser that kept the famous ship afloat.